Hey, Core Reporters, welcome back to my channel, or if you're a newbie, welcome to my channel. It's been a while since we've heard about the drama going on between Amber Portwood and her second baby daddy, Andrew Glennon. Well, according to the sun.com, which I pulled up the story on because it's a mess, right? And I just want to read it for, straight from the source for you guys. Um, this is the headline. Her ex, Andrew, alleges that she abuses meth and other drugs while pregnant as she demands a hair follicle test. So essentially, Andrew recently petitioned the court to have Amber hair follicle tested um, because he witnessed her doing drugs in the past, allegedly. This is what he's claiming, right? Um, and he's even claiming that he witnessed it while she was pregnant as well, which to me is quite alarming. And the drug in particular is meth methamphetamine like this is not just any you know this is not pot this is not like a bump of coke this is not you know what i mean molly to go party this is meth like which is crazy you know like meth and heroin to me are like oh so he's like the fact like i don't know if he's accusing her of having used meth while she was pregnant or not but he's saying that he has witnessed her using it at some point and so um the reason why he filed for this kind of demand against her is because he's claiming that on October 16th, which is just 12 days ago, during one of their exchanges, Amber was allegedly acting very, very erratically. He said that she was speaking frantically and appeared completely paranoid and disheveled. Um, she's al he's also says that there were some cars parked outside with people in them or something like that. And Amber was just really paranoid, thinking that those people were staking her out um, as if like there were the FBI doing some kind of undercover investigation or something like that on her. And so Andrew's like, you know, during one of our exchanges, like this happened. And, and she kind of flagged me down asking me to go demand that these people who are just minding their own business um, go away and stop staking her out. So he's like, you know, I'm very much concerned for her. Listen, I have to be honest with you guys. I am calling BS on this story because... We have to remember that Andrew is a weirdo, right? Like, yes, he was a victim to domestic violence at the hands of Amber, but he also was, um, you know, a, a perpetrator in his past as well with multiple other women. You know, before he started dating Amber, other women had restraining orders against him for literally stalking them. And that's what I'm about to pull up here. Do you remember back in 2017 when Radar Online broke the news that there was a restraining order against Andrew filed on October 30th of 2013? 13. In fact, that is eight years ago now. Like this is about the eight year anniversary of that restraining order. And so, you know, he was doing a lot of really creepy things. She says in the order that, um, I broke up with him and he was very upset. He hid my keys as I had tried to leave out of fear. And the next day he wouldn't leave my apartment until my dad threatened to call the police. She changed her locks and moved everything out of the apartment. Um, but then he kept contacting her five months later. She continued on to say in the uh, request for an order of the petition in May, he showed up uninvited. And after I asked him to leave, he secretly let the air out of my tire until it was flat on my birthday. He showed up at my work under a false name, delivering flowers security at my work, turned him away. How like that to me has always stuck out. Like the fact that this man, is so deranged that he would go buy like, what is it, a Halloween costume or something, buy a bunch of flowers and claim to be a flower delivery man just to run up on this woman at her place of work. Like this is a psycho in my opinion, right? And she says that she also suspected him of vandalizing her neighbor's car that was using her parking spot, thinking that, you know, it was her own car and he keyed it with FEU on it. Like he has very, he has a history of obsessive behavior, particularly when women decide that they want to exit a relationship with him or when, you know, a relationship kind of ends. So clearly his relationship with Amber has ended because of domestic violence. You know, no one is going to dispute that. But um, I have noticed that he has been um, in contempt of their parenting orders a couple of times. Like there were holidays where he uh, refused to return James back to Amber. Like there have been instances where Amber has claimed that he's refused to answer messages that he's supposed to in their mediation app, et cetera, et cetera. So to me, it, it still exhibits like some level of a controlling nature on his part, um, some sort of an unwillingness to accept the fact that this relationship is over. And so now he's kind of just trying to continue to grasp at straws to continue to have some sort of uh, power over her or some kind of like space in her mind. You guys know I can't stand Amber Portwood, right? But like for me to be saying this about someone in defense of her, 
it's bad for me. It's bad. It's bad. So one thing that really stuck out to me here and that Amber addressed as well is that Amber is on pro Okay. If Amber were doing drugs, it would have showed up, shown up in a drug screening by now. She's been on probation ever since the incident occurred, ever since the attack occurred, sorry. And she's been regularly submitting to random drug screenings and she's passed every single one. And so that's why I think that Andrew is just kind of uh, grasping at straws here and showing, um, you know, his typical nature. You know, I don't think that the stalker who went after that girl multiple times that we just read about is gone from his system. And on top of that, like how weird is it that this man witnessed this woman allegedly do drugs while she was pregnant and he never reported it or anything like that. He's only coming out now um, to allege this when he can't witness it personally. Like she was pregnant with your child doing drugs and you had nothing to say about that. You didn't want to do anything about that. Um, that does, you know, cause me to look at Andrew a little bit weird at this point as well. Anyway, you guys, what do you think about An Andrew's new claims against Amber? Do you think she could possibly um, be passing all of these random drug screenings if she were indeed abusing drugs? In my opinion, it might be another psychiatric issue going on with Amber, you know, uh, outside of substance abuse. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Please let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.